What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new episode of the Super Friends Podcast. This week it's episode 89, and I'm joined as always by Luke. Hey guys. And Tim. How's it going, everyone? How are you guys doing today? I, I know we kind of are recording a little bit later, and I know we're all bummed that there's literally basically like no news to talk about this week, uh, but still, y'all y'all doing all right? Y'all, y'all doing good? I'm doing fine. It's par for the course at this point. <laughs> DC, please come out with more news. Because it's literally, nothing makes me angrier than like trying to look at like what's come out, and it's literally 100% Marvel news. Like, everywhere Marvel. I'm not complaining. Yeah. Like, I'm glad for Marvelite. Th- but I hate those Marvelite guys. They get all the good news. <laughs> they do. We're stuck with talking about CW shows. Which, I mean, I'm not complaining. All things considered, luckily we have that to talk about. But, Tim, how are you doing today? Uh, no, I'm so tired at this point. <laughs> I didn't sleep well last night, and I work, uh, and then I have to wake up early again tomorrow. So we'll just take your first word as, as your answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie Tim. I'm right there with you because I have not had that much coffee today. So I did not wake up uh, as early as you had to, but I'm still weak. I am weak, but luckily for you guys, this is going to be kind of an impromptu, I don't want to say like a mailbag episode, but we're just going to probably spend most of the time answering viewer questions and hopefully getting really, really in-depth on those. Because uh, sometimes, usually we have them at like the tail end of the show. We've got like five minutes left. We've got to try and cram them in there. It's yeah. usually, usually not fun, but so this time it's probably going to be at least half the episode is going to be answering your questions. Yeah. So this if you, time you are the star. Basically, correct. <laughs> and you can tell Luke is really excited about that. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> the viewer questions are my favorite part of the show, so yeah. I'm I mean, really excited about that. I actually, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm kind of glad that we do get to do this little impromptu comment special. But we do actually have at least one piece of news to talk about, and that comes to us from the realm of DC television. Uh, We actually have a ton of new info this week about The Flash Season 4, which I know all of you out there care about so much. Uh, But we do have some details about who the villain of Season 4 might be. That's the biggest one. Some of Iris' role, where Barry kind of is to start the season, and then of course uh, we'll talk a little bit about the premiere episode's title and what that might mean, and kind of the mystery surrounding that. So you guys ready to dive in? Let's do it. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to start off with this villain news. Um, Some of you like me might be big Game of Thrones fans, and you might remember a character from season one, the first sort of Bravos himself, Sirio Farrell. Uh, and the actor that played young Sirio Farrell, or I guess middle-aged Sirio Farrell, uh, was a guy named Miltos uh, Yerolamu. I pronounced his name awfully, uh, and please correct me in the comments section. Um, I'm not even going to try and pretend like that's how he pronounces his name. Uh, but apparently, he tested for the role of the of season four, season four's big bad, um, and he revealed this information at Nashville's. Uh, Con of Thrones, which I guess is a Game of Thrones centric <laughs> convention. I I I'm, I might be reading that reading too much into that there, uh, but he he appeared. He had a panel, and uh, he actually told someone that then told ComicBook.com that he read for the character who was really smart and a fast talker. Um, he said that the tagline was something like "the fastest man alive versus the fastest brain alive." Um, and just to kind of put that in context, the casting director gave him several pages of just random Roman, ancient Roman trivia to memorize as quickly as he could and then recite back even quicker. Um, and so it kind of is, you know, a fast talker, really smart kind of guy. But he said that the role really wasn't for him as an actor, so uh, don't you're not going to have to worry about seeing uh, Sirio Farrell as a villain on Flash Season 4. Now, what does this kind of mean? Well, this would seem to back up earlier reports that the big bad for Season 4 was actually going to be The Thinker, kind of a a B-list or C-list Flash villain, I'd say. Um, But one that certainly was teased last season, Abracadabra apparently referenced um, DeVoe, which is Clifford DeVoe, the name of The Thinker, Um, so that, that it kind of is not out of the question uh, for the thinker to be the villain in season four, and if what um, Miltos was talking about was was correct, then it definitely seems like that would be the case. What do you guys think of this? I think a lot of us were thinking potentially Godspeed with the way that season three ended, and I think maybe that was a pipe dream. They did say that they, it wasn't going to be another speedster, 
But Tim, do you do you have any strong feelings either way about the thinker? What do you what do you hope um, in terms of the season four villain? Well, I expected the thinker because not only did Abracadabra mention him, but Savitar mentioned Devo also. So ah. they st- they were building up that the thinker was going to show up at some point. I don't know if he'll be the main villain of the season, but. I expect him to show up at the very least. I would agree. I they what's interesting is this, this comicbook.com article does reference him as the big bad, um, and that seems to come from what um, Yoromalu actually himself said at the con was that at least that's what he was he was being told when he was writing for the role was that this would be a a major villain if not the major villain uh, of the season. I'm sure there. I mean that's the Flash's thing. It's kind of freak of the week. There are going to be other villains sprinkled in there. But it seems like the thinker might be kind of brainiacing this thing, um, at least for you know moving the pieces into place and and whatnot. Um, Luke, do you do you do you agree with this choice? Do you think the thinker's a? What do you think of the the choice of the thinker as the villain? Well, I'll tell you this: I can't wait until <coughs> Godspeed rips through his chest and says, "I'm the main villain." Yes, it, it was, was me, me. Barry, <laughs> as his villains are wont to do. But yeah, it, it, but, then um, Godspeed pulls off his mask, and it's Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon. Yes, <laughs> the ultimate twist. And but, then uh, Vince McMahon pulls off his mask, <laughs> and, it's, <laughs> and it's Nick. <laughs> and it's Nick, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Like the thinker as a villain, I guess that's fine. I'm more just happy about the idea that there might not be a speedster villain. Oh, thank God! But yeah, I don't know. Like again, I remember them saying that like i feel like when the, it was first coming out that what's his name the uh the dude from the first for the third season alchemy um yes alchemy can't remember if it was the alchemist but that's venture brothers character <laughs> alchemy um i thought they said that he was going to be like sharing like the role as the main antagonist with savitar and then that turned out not to be the case kind of he was pawn. savitar yeah, and he was Savitar being mind controlled, and then he was promptly forgotten. So I still yep. don't get how Barry did that. There's a lot of things I don't get, but it wasn't I don't know, a very well they, written season. They say a lot of things, but I mean, at the end of the day, I just I kind of want to put I want them to put their money where their mouth is. I'm not going to believe that the Thinker is the main villain until I see it. Oh yeah, I, I mean I can't trust words until That's... him and Barry have a big. V- Fight running through the city at the end of the season. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say musical number, but I mean yeah. that's uh, no, no <laughs> musical numbers on the Flash. They're not good at them. <laughs> I was gonna say like that's one of those things with television shows uh, that you can never really tell is th- whatever they're planning at the beginning of the season. It's almost certainly not going to be the same plan at the end of the season, and part of that is just uh, maybe a blessing, maybe a curse. But in television, you're probably filming some of your episodes and in, in, in most cases you're filming some of your episodes after your first episodes have already started to air so grant that it's not until about the midway point that you're actually getting some feedback and probably changing some things but i mean we can't even be sure that barry was originally savitar when when the season started um so who knows they could change they could change people's roles because certainly like up until the mid-season like julian was a more overt villainous character and by the end of the season it seemed like they kind of the undercurrent was still there but you know he kind of was i don't want to say back to the side of the angels but at least helping them out for his own end um right i mean i mean he seemed to be pretty genuine in wanting to help and who knows maybe maybe he'll change his mind but i mean that that's one of those things where i feel like people they they saw the initial reaction of the character and they decided to bring him back or maybe they have a larger larger character arc but so we'll see i'm sure some things are subject to change but who else uh, there was another report from earlier this week that one of the villains in this season is going to basically really really tax the cgi which i'm sure some of you are rolling your eyes and groaning it's like how much more taxed could it get um any ideas about who that could be? I was thinking Godspeed might fit that, but I mean, I'm not sure really how he, how how much more he would affect the CGI than than Barry usually does. Um, is there anyone that kind of comes to your mind as a, a CGI Flash villain? Tar Pit. Tar Pit. <laughs> Gorilla Grodd. More Grodd. A... I want more Grodd. I actually do want more Grodd. <laughs> more King it's our Shark. seasonal Grodd episode. Can we? Can can I get like as a final as a final piece on this segment? What's the over under on the chances that? Uh, what are the odds that 
that the rogues will actually coalesce and do something this season. Zero percent, because Heatwave is still a main cast member on Legends of Tomorrow. Hey! Alright, Luke. Hey! Hey! Luke, any... What do, what do you what do you think? Are you gonna give it maybe maybe more optimistic than than zero percent or no? No, because I've kind of given hope on the rogues ever becoming a thing. They stop uh, trying to make the they had happen. plenty of chances to do it and they never took a single one. So I'm just I, assuming they that had tons of chances to do it. it and then for whatever reason they took Wentworth Miller and Dominic. I uh, forget how to pronounce his last name. Torch with a P. Persona. Yeah, so I mean, uh, they, they put them they on wanted... Legend of Tomorrow for some reason. <laughs> so I mean, unless they want to use other villains, but I mean, at that point, I don't consider it the Rogues if Captain Cold is at least not involved. And truth, I mean, they've so had two pseudo Rogue teams, but no like the full like main six members of it. Yeah, so you know, there you go, zero percent. I'm gonna give it five percent because it could happen. But you know that's not th- true. That's not, that's not true. That's impossible. <laughs> no. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm glad that you're positive, CJ. But you know that positivity is not well placed. I wake up every morning with it. a smile. They failed like five times. <laughs> They'll create the rogues during this season's underwhelming four-part crossover they're gonna have to do <laughs> it eventually well that actually is gonna do it here for us uh for our special comment episode hopefully you got your comments answered i'm not sure if we're gonna be doing one of these again anytime soon we'll probably just be playing <laughs> it by ear um i mean hopefully we have more more questions and uh more news to talk about but i mean hey next week if it's the same situation so on the off chance that we end up doing this again next week, you might want to go ahead and throw your question in the comment section. Just use hashtag AskSuperFriends on, in that comment section or on Twitter and then just fire away. That's how we find them. Uh, any final thoughts, guys? And where can they find you on social media if they want to ask you questions, um, I guess, off off the podcast? Uh, Tim? I am on Twitter, at Aussie Dragoon. And Luke is regretting that I said that because he's like, I don't want to tell him where I am now. You know, I don't want to talk to these people. It's going to get nothing. <laughs> Waru's going to get mad at me. He's going to post nothing but his questions on my Twitter feed. Would Jaden Smith I, um, make a good game? He can just go back Wayne? to all the other podcasts and find it. It's true. Uh, Luke, what are you, what, where, where are we finding you? At Baron Zemo underscore one? I'm on, yes, that is where I Hey, I'm, all right. Did I'm it for at, me, bastard. Hey, do you want to, do you want to go ahead? Do you want to? You already did it. At Baron Zemo underscore one. Ha, ah, all right. So I'm there. Do you want to do mine? You can, you can read off mine. CJ, I don't know how to tell you this. I don't actually remember your Twitter no. account. Well, I'm insulted. I, I just stalked I can't your do Twitter. it. I'm sorry. All right, I'm on Twitter, at CJ Pascal. I was kind of hoping you were going to come back there and just cuck me at the last second, but um, I am on Twitter, <laughs> no, I was at telling CJ you Pascal. Truth. Please don't tweet me questions about Drake Bell being Nightwing. Waru, don't he do is that. on Twitter at, at Dogs on Hogs. It's <laughs> his side project about taking pictures of small dogs on motorcycles. <laughs> 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 you just found me my my million account my million follower account uh um, turning that into a brand but on that bombshell uh we will see you guys next week this has been episode 89 of super friends um take it easy hey there if you're a fan of these podcasts and you'd like to hear the full unedited show head on over to our soundcloud page where you can get all of our exclusive podcasts at their full length, for free, on the go, or on the website at soundcloud.com slash hybridnetworkyt, and hopefully we'll catch you there.